Welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. My name is Michael, and in this adventure, Esme, Lizzie, and I head out for an overnight camp and a trip on the ATV. So I wasn't sure what the conditions were going to be on this trip, so I picked up these traction board set from Princess Auto, and even if I didn't use them to get me out of trouble, I could always level the Jeep with them. So welcome to the Emporium Outdoors. We are out camping again, and we're back at this little spot that I found a few weeks ago. And it's changed quite a bit because there's not very much snow. So I was a bit worried about getting into this area, but it's actually not too bad. I see use those uh, new boards that I've got, traction boards, to level out the Jeep. So that's good. We did bring along the quad today, the little, Kawasaki KVF 350 360 so that's gonna be a lot of fun and we obviously have Esme and Lizzie which I'm just trying to keep an eye on so what to do first you know what I think I might just go for a ride see uh, see how everything is and then we can come back and Set up the tent, set up everything else. So probably as you can see, not a lot of snow around. So might be a muddy weekend. We'll see. It's gonna be interesting trying to keep the dogs out of the mud.
So I picked up this side table, it goes on here. I'm just trying to figure out how it goes. Some hard one. seem overly secure. Yes, this is wrong. Got to be honest, I'm not sure if that's worth the money. So we're pretty much set up. Just got to put the sleeping bag up, a few other things. Got lots of new items to test this weekend. Lizzie's just been terrible. She's running everywhere, which makes me very nervous. But this weekend, we're going to fix that. We're going to fix you. You're going to learn to come. Hmm? Hopefully Esme will teach her a few tricks. Good girl. Actually testing out a new refrigerator this weekend. Uh, it's this set power unit. Uh, I'll be doing some more details on it later on. Just getting to know it. It does have Two sides that you can set separately, the controls, and uh, quite a few sodas, a couple of beers. I'll just 
pretty rugged. And to run it, running with the Bluetti. Doesn't seem to be pulling much in the way of power. Pretty quiet. I've just plugged it in. We're at ninety-eight percent, so I'll keep an eye on that. Hi, everyone. So today we're going to be taking a look at this fire maple stove it's a put together stove that i'm actually quite interested to see how it fares i've been using my red camp one i bought from amazon for quite a few years this is um say lighter more compact let's take a look at it okay it comes in a nice envelope Okay, has instructions, it's very nice. Oh, nice big grill. And this is what I'm looking forward to. See how that works. Okay, let's go ahead and put this thing together. So, slots in like so. Slots in like so. There we go. Just gotta put in the bottom piece. There we go, all set up. It's pretty straightforward. So two big feeding holes on the left and right. I wonder if I could have organized that differently. I think you can probably put them in different places, maybe. I don't think it matters too much. I've got my big grill. Oh, it's gonna be nice to actually cook on this. This is gonna be uh, much bigger. The the one I currently have, the red camp, it's very small, which is fine, but we'll see how this goes. Just take that off for now. Let's see if we can get this thing going. So I'm going to cheat with my a &W stuff from earlier. I got some twigs. Some sticks. Okay, we're back to the lighter.
So we just got up into the tent. I think it's just after seven. So it's like super early, but I'm tired. Dogs has fallen asleep too. So I think we're just gonna hang out in the tent for a while. I'll probably have to get up in the middle of the night and let the dogs down so they can sniff around and do whatever they need to do. Um, they're crunching away on the treats I just gave them. So I'm looking forward to a really quiet night. It's not cold at all. Uh, it's actually very mild. Uh, I brought my uh, this is the Thermarest Polar Ranger. Uh, this goes down to like minus 30 Celsius, I think. So a little bit on the overkill. But this isn't as warm as my big sleeping bag that I normally take with me during the winter time. Uh, but this is a lot more compact. Uh, my other one is uh, a Woods minus 45 Celsius sleeping bag, which I love. So I'll leave it at that for now. I wish you a good night and we'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, everyone. That was a crazy night. So I slept. Only 10 hours, which is very unusual for me. I think I woke up around 12, but it was a very good sleep. So I can actually hear it's raining this morning it's not snow uh i'm not sure what the temperature is this polar ranger sleeping bag is overkill i don't really get to use it very much and it's a lot more compact uh, but it was comfortable i didn't find it too constrictive so i tend to find with mummy bags but you know, this is actually pretty good but very very nice and comfortable did start to sweat a little bit had to kind of open it all up during the night worst thing you can do is sweat in a down sleeping bag it's pretty gross uh, all right well better get together a game plan and figure out what we're going to do in the rain as we have so I did check the AC60 and I had used 23% power in the fridge overnight. So, so we are all packed up. We decided to uh, make a break for home because there is no fun, believe me, camping in a tent in the wet with a corgi. That would drive you insane. And I think the, uh, the roads are going to turn to mud pretty much now. They're frozen on the way in. But I think on the way out, it's gonna it's gonna be bad because the weather isn't gonna freeze, so this water is just gonna help uh, turn all the the roads to to mush. Uh, but I think we're good. We've got everything set up. So time to head down the road. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.